Keith Whitley's widow, singer Laurie Morgan, said she was struggling to find the right words to include during her acceptance of the Country Music Hall of Fame medallion. However, she knew one thing. He would feel so unworthy, Morgan shares. Reinforcing a notion suggested earlier in the night that Whitley's self-doubt was part of what drove him to drink. Keith Whitley died at age 33 in 1989. His membership in the Country Music Hall of Fame is a reminder of his long influence during such a short career. That was the wonderful thing about Keith, Morgan continues. He was such one of us. He loved all these Hall of Famers. He was such a fan of everyone. The musicians, he loved the musicians, the songwriters. With her daughter. From a previous marriage and her son with Whitley sitting right across from her, Morgan couldn't help the tears from flowing as she began to reflect on her late husband's fans. My whole family, all of us together have missed him. All the fans who loved Keith and visited his grave all the time, Morgan says, sobbing and wiping her face with a tissue.